Okay, I wanted to give you a little homework help on this uh, problem from section 1-2. It's uh, problem number 96. And I've uh, typed up the uh, basically the narrative of the problem. We have this sprinkler and I just tried to do a drawing to reproduce the picture that you're given in your textbook. But the, the gist of this is we've got this sprinkler that's going to continue to uh, cover this circular area, but the field that we're trying to water is a square, okay? And it's a square whose area is 1,250 square feet. So that's the red, obviously. The question that we're supposed to answer is what is the shortest radius setting that can be used if the field is to be completely enclosed? We want to make sure that we, as we move around a circle, you know, if, we, if our radius is too short, you know, we would be doing something like this and it would not enclose the whole circles or the whole field. So we, um, we got to make sure that we um, adjust it properly and use the proper radius. So first of all, uh, let's remember, you have to remember what uh, area of a circle is. Okay. So the area of a circle is equal to side squared, okay? So well, we don't know what the side lengths are, but we do know what the area is. So we can plug 1250 in for area. And then uh, we can uh, just do the square root of both sides. So then we do the square root of both sides. <clears throat> to solve for S. And normally we would say do plus minus, but we're talking about side length, so we're not going to consider the negative. And so uh, simplifying this in radical form, um, I think that'll be easier. Uh, you'll see that in just a little bit. Let's just put this in simplified radical form. So uh, we can use a perfect square, 625 times root 2, which is not perfect, and the square root of 625 is 25. So our side lengths are 25 times the square root of 2, okay, and obviously it's a square, so all of them are the same. Okay, so now let's consider this. Uh, this, as far as the, the sprinkler the water here is how it's traveling. That's going to represent the radius of a circle. And uh, the diagonal, which is, I'll just try to extend this, is kind of like the diameter. So the diagonal from this corner to this corner, if I just extend this, then that means uh, basically this is going to be 2r. r plus r is 2r. So you can kind of maybe see where we're going now. What I've done now is I've set up a right triangle and we basically know what these two sides are, 25 root 2, 25 root 2. We just don't know what the hypotenuse is, but we can use the Pythagorean theorem to help us find out what this hypotenuse length is. Okay, so C squared, well C is the entire length of that diagonal, which is 2r. When you square that, you get 4r squared. Let's just come over here. 4r squared equals 25 root 2 squared plus 25 root 2 squared. Okay, so we're going to be solving for r. So 25 squared that's 625. So you square 25, you get 625. And then times square root of 2 squared, which is just 2. So really, we'll come back and clean that up, but it's 625 times 2. And then obviously this is going to be the same thing. So that's going to be 12 
50 plus 1250. So that's 2500. And we're going to divide by 4. 2500 divided by 4. Again, that's 625. And so R, we'll get, uh, we'll do the square root of both sides to get R, and that's going to be 25. So that gets us to our final answer. The shortest radius setting that can be used if we're going to enclose the entire field is 25 feet. That is the conclusion to this problem. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, let me know.